Hey guys, it's Coach Sharice here. I just wanted to talk to you about something I've been hearing from a lot of you recently. I know it's a big deal to put yourself out there and reach out to invite people to challenge groups. It feels hard to press send when you form that message and you anxiously await a response. And then when you get no response, I know that it's hard. You take it personally, even though it's never personal, but it's something that kind of eats at you like, ah, this person didn't write back, you know, what are they thinking? And it weighs on you. So what I'm here to tell you is that it should not weigh on you. It should not be personal. I do know that that's how you take it initially because I started just like you and I know the feeling because I used to feel that way. But I did learn that it's not possible. So two things in response to this. Um, when people don't respond, they are still going to be watching you, which is what the importance of our social media presence is. They're gonna be watching and saying like, what is this thing? What is this challenge group that she's talking about? Is this even real? Is she getting results from this? Like, what, what's the deal? So when you're posting occasionally on Facebook and sincerely sharing your journey, not inviting people left and right, just sharing your journey, talking about the benefits, the more energy that you have, maybe the way your clothes are fitting better, the fact that you feel like you can wear a bathing suit on the beach this summer and feel confident, the way your whole family is taking part in this, how Shakeology gives you the boost you need for the day, the friendships that you form through the challenge group, all of these things you know that make up our challenge groups that affect your life, share those things on Facebook because they're, they're going to be watching and they will see that what you're talking about is the real deal. The second thing is if people don't respond, follow up. Don't just let it fall by the wayside. Reach out to them again. If a week goes by and you haven't heard from them, send them a message and just be totally honest and vulnerable. Say something like, hey, so-and-so, um, I was just wanting to reach out to you again because I sent you a message last week talking about my challenge group and I really hope I didn't do <clears throat> something to offend you or upset you. Um, I just want to let you know that I reached out because this is something that's so important to me. It's changed my life in XYZ ways and I thought that you as a fellow busy mom, you as someone I know who really appreciates health, who really values good health for your family, some Something that connects the two of you would appreciate it so that's all I hope that's okay and usually when you reach out with that kind of vulnerability and just be totally honest and sincere people respond to you if they don't respond to that then move on okay no big deal but at least you know that you put in the full effort if you're gonna put in the effort to put yourself out there to send a first invitation then follow through and give it your best shot don't waste that effort that you already put out there. All right, so I just wanted to share this, and I hope that helps. Have a great day. Bye-bye.